morning. Outdoors, Ohio. October 28th. It is 39 degrees with the southeast wind. Pressure's a 30.36. Excuse me, I have a halls in my mouth. I got like a serious cold, I think, from being out here yesterday morning. But we heard a ton of deer in the dark. And just moments ago, it was, we had a eight point walk behind us at about 45 yards. But typically here, at least on this farm, 28th is usually when it starts getting really good. And obviously we can't kill a buck, but I'm hoping we'll get something to, you know, be pushing a doe. Get a doe to come through here, especially after yesterday. Spooking that doe, I was kind of really upset. Still kind of upset. <clears throat> but uh, hopefully we can get it done this morning. Pretty morning, but it's gonna get really warm the next three days, so I'd love to get it done this morning. Today's high 62, but then tomorrow jumps into the mid 70s, and by Thursday, almost 80. But a drastic drop on Friday, down to the low 50s and rain, so the weekend looks good, but the next three days look rough. So Hopefully we'll get it done this morning, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get to stick a, a doe with a Carbon Express. This bear's ready to growl. It's been a while, so stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm gonna make this quick. Deer are moving. The deer are moving. I just, I just had a little four point and a six point walking in a straight line. I actually thought the little four point was a doe at first, so I hurried up and grabbed my bow. But they were walking right behind each other.
And like I said, they worked for me. Those two do those two bucks were literally 15 yards and didn't bust me. My wind is blowing directly to them. It's a southeast blowing right to them. So just wanted to say that real quick. We'll get back to you. Alright guys, welcome back. It's about a uh, quarter to ten and uh, we haven't seen anything else. A bunch of squirrels. I was kind of wishing I had my, my shotgun, but we're going to hang out another 15 minutes and we're going to get out of here. We're going to come back to the stand for the evening hunt. We heard, we sat at the corner blind last night. And we heard all kinds of running around back here. <clears throat> so I'm hoping, you know, we'll get a buck to push a doe through here or something. So that's what we're going to do. But we'll hang out another 15 minutes and then uh, we'll pack up and get out of here for the after the morning anyway. So beautiful morning. Three bucks that we saw this morning. Just no does. So anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Real quick, <clears throat> no sooner did uh, I start packing up, I looked at the field edge. And at six point, we saw opening evening of bow is walking the field edge. So, I still see him, but just want to say that real quick. So, that's the fourth buck we've seen this morning. So, we're still moving, but not pushing does. <laughs> there he goes. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. <clears throat> Welcome back. Sorry, still don't feel that good. Um, we're back after it. It's a little bit after 4.30. We're in for the evening hunt. We decided we were going to try the funnel set tonight. Uh, never really had much luck here in the evenings, but I figured, what the heck, I'm going to try it. And as I said earlier, we sat in the uh, corner blind last night, and we heard some ruckus back here. So we'll see what happens. We saw them four bucks this morning, three of them in bow range. But still waiting for a doe so maybe a buck will come in there and push a doe through here we'll get doe moving around feeding so heading out the fields and what have you both these bean fields here in between or on either side of this funnel here um, are, are harvested so we'll see we'll see what happens so stay tuned
just had a pretty big six point. Walk right under my stand. And again, like I said this morning, guys, we have a southeast wind. My wind was blowing right to him. And he looked at me a couple times, never ran off. I videoed the entire sequence. Taking your set killer showers, treating your camo, wearing good camo, like the set blocker. Helps eliminate deer that come downwind of you. I'll tell you what, that buck was here for, I don't know, two minutes, three minutes. And finally, nonchalantly walked off. But that was pretty awesome. We'll get back to you at the Jeep. Alright guys, we are heading out of the farm. Um, had a really good evening in the, in the woods. Um, had a beautiful, nice six point. Walk right under the stand, was there for... I don't know, two and a half, three minutes. Well, I had to be over three minutes because I have a video that's two minutes and a video that's a minute and a half. So about three and a half minutes or so. And then uh, he walked off. And then, I don't know, about 15 minutes later, um, I saw another deer about 120 yards away. And I thought it was a buck, but it wasn't. It was a real big doe, uh, but way too far. Um, she was just walking through the woods. She must have come right off the bean field and just walk through the woods. So, um, I mean, we saw, uh, what, five bucks today in a doe. So, pretty eventful day. We saw four this morning and two this evening, so. But anyway, um, we're gonna get home, get everything put away, try to get some sleep, and we'll be right back out here tomorrow morning. Thank you to all my sub subscribers. I really appreciate all the support, comments. Um, I really appreciate it. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We'll catch you on the next adventure.